Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on back, girl. Melanin Pop. Melanin Pop. Melanin Pop. Hey, it's your favorite lady, and I am back. I've only got one question for you. What's poppin'? Now you know I have the answer because I always do. So what's poppin' is the actress Felicia Richard had to issue an apology to people because she supported the early release of Bill Cosby. Now if you do not know who Bill Cosby is, let Google be your best friend, but I'll give you a bit of a backstory. Bill Cosby is a stand-up comedian and an actor, okay? He's well known for the cartoon Fat Albert, but best known for his hit TV series back in the 80s called The Cosby Show. Felicia Richard played the wife of Bill on The Cosby Show. She was the lovely Claire Huxtable, and she is beloved to this day. However, Bill Cosby has been accused of drugging a number of women back in the 80s and sexually assaulting them. It was all exposed later in his life, and he was sentenced to prison. He is now out of prison due to a fumble by the DA. Okay, so basically the prosecutors messed up and he was released on a technicality and there are a lot of people that feel like it is an injustice a lot of people feel like he belongs in prison he still belongs there they have no sympathy for him and they feel like look the victims deserve justice but Felicia Rashad is not one of those people, okay? She was really giddy and excited when she found out that he was being released, and this is what she tweeted. She said, Finally, a terrible wrong is being righted. A miscarriage of justice is corrected. Now, after she tweeted that, she received some backlash, okay? Some of the fans were upset with her, but also Felicia Rashad is the new dean of the Howard University College of Fine Arts program. So the students and some of the parents were upset with her as well, which led to her sending an apology letter to the students and the parents. And in the apology letter, she says, my remarks were in no way directed towards survivors of sexual assault. I oppose sexual violence, find no excuse for such behavior, and I know that Howard University has a zero tolerance policy toward violence. Now, this was enough for a lot of people. They accepted her apology and they understood her stance. But of course, there are people that are calling for Felicia to be canceled, okay? There are people that are saying, bye, Felicia. They are not pleased with her tweet of support for Bill Cosby, okay? Now, I do want to say that she is not the only celebrity that supports Bill Cosby. We have heard from people that feel like he needs to be back in jail. However, there are some celebrities who have come out and they are unapologetic. They are not sending out letters saying that they're sorry for supporting Bill Cosby because they feel like he was railroaded. They don't even believe the accusations. Okay, so you do have people both male and female, that are standing by Bill Cosby. I'm going to tell you how I feel about this. Listen, any victim out there deserves justice. That is what it is. They deserve justice, okay, and should demand it. And, you know, I can get why people would be upset, especially if they were a victim of Bill Cosby. I totally get it. That's not what this podcast is about. We're talking about whether or not Felicia Rashad should be canceled for supporting Bill Cosby. I say no. And before you go in on me, let me tell you, I've been assaulted before and I was a child when it happened. So I have a lot of sympathy for victims, but I believe very much in the right of each individual to believe how they believe. And in Felicia Rashad's case, she's not saying that she feels like people should be victims. She's not saying that she supports sexual abuse. What she's saying is, 
She doesn't believe it happened. What she's saying is she does not believe that Bill Cosby is guilty. And you may find her a disgusting person for believing that, but she has that right. She worked for many years with Bill Cosby. I believe they have over eight seasons that lasted from the 80s to the early 90s. So she believes that she knows him, okay? They remained close friends over the years. And you don't have to agree with me. I'm not telling you to believe that Bill Cosby is innocent. That is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is think about it as if it was your uncle or your cousin or your brother, someone that you feel that you know on a more intimate level because you've been around them all your life. Someone that you feel is relatively a good person. And then someone comes out, you know, many, many, many years later and say, this is who he is. And you're like, I have been around this person. I have never, ever experienced this from my cousin or my uncle or my close friend. This is, I've never even heard of such things. And I think he's being railroaded. And I just want you to think about that. You know, um, you may come to the conclusion eventually that he's guilty, but you may have a hard time getting there. And I fully believe that that is the case with Felicia Rashad. You know, she just feels like, this isn't true. I know it's not. I know this man. I worked with this man. And you may think that she's terrible or she's delusional, but she has the right to stand by him. I don't think she should be canceled for that because she's not supporting sexual violence. What she's saying is, I don't even believe that he did it. Other people that worked with him on the show, Keisha Knight, the little girl who played Rudy, the daughter she didn't believe it either she was like what i've never seen i've never seen anything remotely close i've i've never had this happen and it doesn't mean that it didn't happen to those women what it means is you should be able to understand someone who thinks they know a person like just on a deeper level than everyone else and they feel like I support them because I don't even believe this. There's this big conspiracy theory and, and, and everybody's out to get them. And I know it sounds crazy that they would even believe that. We don't have to believe as they believe, but we have to acknowledge that everybody is not going to think like us. And I don't feel like she should be canceled. I do think she should have used a bit of wisdom, you know, knowing that she has this position and knowing that a lot of people feel the way they do about Bill Cosby, I wouldn't have tweeted anything about it. However, it is what it is. She believes he's innocent. And you may think he is scum of the earth, but she believes that he's innocent. She doesn't believe that people should be sexually assaulted or molested or any of those things. She just believes that he didn't do it. You can say, I don't care, she's canceled. <laughs> no, she's not. Cancel culture is the biggest joke ever. People are mad until the next scandal comes out and then that person's canceled. Like, no, she's not canceled. You can't cancel her. She's not going to be canceled. I mean, come on. I've heard this repeatedly about people, terrible people, and they still have fans. They still have support. Nobody's going to cancel Felicia because she truly believed that her friend was innocent. Okay? I have questions. I think things look suspect, but I'm not Felicia Rashad, and I don't have a friendship with Bill Cosby. She does, and she has every right to believe whatever it is she chooses. If she wants to believe he's a green alien from out of space, that's her choice, okay? That is all that I'm saying. So I don't know how you feel about it. I just don't get it. Like, if we can forgive, you know, these people who stand by politicians who have been accused of things, and pretty much all of them have been accused of stuff, and you still have your favorite politician that you stand by, um, how are you going to cancel Claire? That is all that I'm saying. She's still Claire Huxtable to me. <laughs> I love her as Claire Huxtable. I love Felicia Rashad. Um, yeah, 
don't know what you think about it, but that's my take on it. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're listening to this on YouTube. It's free. You don't have to pay to do it. And I really appreciate the fact that you came and listened to me today. I want to keep you in the know and have discussions with you. So make sure you keep it locked right here at Melon and Pop so I can keep you informed on what's popping.